हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस लेक्चर इज इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद योर प्रीवियस लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ ट्रैक्टर्स एंड हैवी अर्थ मूविंग मशीनरी इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट वन मेजर थिंग व्हिच इज द बुलडोजर एक्चुअली दिस इज द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ यूनिट नंबर सिक्स सो इन यूनिट नंबर सिक्स दीज आर द कंटेंट दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विच इज योर description and working principle of bulldozer leveler front end loader cranes and scraper so specifically in today's lecture what we are going to discuss is introduction about the bulldozer then its working principle and important parts of a bulldozer which are used for it then if i am going to start with there is a bulldozer you can see in the image the bulldozer is a kind of a engineering marvelous which is used in the different kind of engineering works so what bulldozer is actually a crawler why it is called as a crawler because it does not have any tires it is having the tracks so in on the tracks it works and on the front it is having a blade or you can say it's a metal plate it is also called as a blade and in the on the rear side you can see there is a claw like structure so this claw is called the ripper so if any vehicle which is carrying a front in the front it is a metal plate or a blade and in the end there is a claw or a ripper which that is be called as a bulldozer so we all know that we have must have seen this thing in your daily that bulldozer is used for yes for the mines military bases your heavy industries engineering projects and in farms very less in farms but yes it is to be used in there so what it is the description if i talk about so the description is very it is having a good holding capability and mobility through rough terrain rough terrain is your that off roading if you just uh, think about your car and you are moving on a rough road that is in your rough terrain you are using the bulldozer so why tracks are used because on the tires it cannot track the heavy things so that's why we are providing it a wide tracks so that tracks is having a larger area it is having two benefits first it is having maximum amount of force it can generate which which is not able able through the tires but on the tracks you can easily provide it then the second is increasing the area decreases its sinking probability because if your land is little uh, wet and uh, It is, if it is not having enough pressure to withstand then your bulldozer gets sink into it that's why we are using the tracks or sometimes if if the extra track extra wide tracks are to be used they are called as a swamp tracks or lgps so and one more thing the advantage is this is that you are having the transmission system is designed so well that it can provide excellent tractive force which is not you are not getting it through the tires then the labeling you can see there are different parts are shown on to this uh, diagram so in the front end you can say this is a bucket bucket or you can say it as a metal plate or then you can see there is a radiator in the front the engine and the bucking cylinder bucket cylinder sorry so what is a bucket cylinder bucket cylinder is having this blade is having two kind of cylinder the first one you can see the bucket cylinder it is used to move this blade up and down vertically up and down then there is a tilt cylinder you can see on this side there is a tilt cylinder this cylinder is used to move in a forward and backward direction so whenever you need to take out take pick up the things so this cylinder will be in the forward direction and when you need to take this up so it will be in the backward direction then there is a track spring then there is a rollers rollers are having very much important because these are the parts which are responsible for the moving of the uh, bulldozers then there is a final drive final drive you know about before it is to reduce down its speed but increasing the torque that's why you using this final drive a sprocket sprocket is similarly kind of your cycle sprocket it hangs into this track and move it in a forward direction then in the last as you have see the claw like structure or the ripper this ripper is again with the hydraulic cylinder so this cylinder is moving its vertical positions and as well as the horizontal positions then on the top side there is a cab then there is a transmission system then the power module 
So it's a simple description, but major parts are these which we are going to discuss in here is the ripper. Ripper is the backward part. You can see there's a claw available onto it. Then the second number is your final drive, which is available here. This is having a sprocket. You can see easily see in here that there's a sprocket and there's a track wheel onto it. Then number five is your engine. Number six is your push frame. Frame is responsible for the movement of your blades or your metal plates. You can say it as. Then, what's the working principle? Like the other automobiles or the vehicles, this is having all the systems same into it. Like you can see here is the engine, the transmission system, the electrical part, the cab and hood, mechanical and transmission, hydraulic transmission system. All these principles which are used in mechanical or hydraulic system, they all are used similarly in the bulldozer. Like if I talk about a tractor, tractor does have a final drive and this bulldozer have a final drive. So all the principles, either it is a mechanical or a hydraulic or your braking or your power or your final drive, all the system used in the tractor, the same is in here, but the capacity is more. There are different components or the attachments are to be used on a bulldozer, which is not in case of your tractor. But yes, all the systems are same. So what are the important parts? We'll discuss in detail all of the important parts in here, but for this lecture, I'll just give you the introduction about it, which is your blades. So blade is a front part of a bulldozer, which is used for these purposes. Shove sand, means to take out the sand or the soil, the debris, to collect the debris or pushing it away, like your waste of your wood or the drop down all your stumping of all your trees so that is used for the use in the bulldozer it is having a five types you can see the s blade u blade or the combination of s and u blade the angle blade and then last one is your power angle tilt blade so these are the five types of blades which will be discussed in the next class thank you for listening to me and please subscribe my channel which is tiny steps i'll share you